Hello and welcome to the first video on my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own module in Python on the Raspberry Pi. Now there are a lot of modules already installed such as Math, Sys and OS but what if you wanted to create your own? Here's how you're going to do it. So I'm just going to show you where, where Python will look for these modules. So if you were to type import Sys, which is a module as I just said, sys.path and this is showing you exactly where Python is going to look for its modules. So this is the folder we're going to be using today. And so let's get started. OK, so what we're going to do now is create a folder to keep all our modules in, should we want to create some more. But because we're not going to put it in the slash home slash pi directory, we're going to have to use sudo. And the easiest way to do that is to just type sudo pcman fm in the terminal to open a sudo or super user file browser. So what you're going to do is navigate to the slash folder and then go user and then go to lib and python 2.7 and in here and press create new and then folder and call it whatever you like. My modules would seem sensible. Okay, so from here, we're actually going to need to create the file with the code in it. And because we're going to be saving it into the file we just created, we're going to need to do it as a sudo. So the way to do that is type sudo idle into the terminal to bring up this idle screen. From here, just go new file and you've got the script. So what we're going to do is type def and then your function name. I'm just going to call it func. And then from here, you're going to put your code. I'm just going to put print hello world as a test. Okay, so once you've done that, you press file and then go save as. But we don't want to save it in the home slash pi, so we're going to go up and then we're going to go user lib and then find the Python 2.7 and then find your file mine is called my modules and then type your module name I'm just going to call it my module for the sake of this example then we're going to save that and you can see it's called my module.py now if we happen to be in the folder slash user slash lib slash python slash my modules then it would work but most of the time we're not going to be so the way to get around that is to add something to your startup file. So the file we're going to need to write the line to is slash etc slash profile. So the way we're going to do that is sudo nano slash etc slash profile to bring up this file here. And at the bottom of the file, you want to put this line here. So export Python path equal sign dollar sign python path again in capitals and then colon and then your path which is slash user slash lib slash python 2.7 slash my modules but your might be different if it's if you called it some if you called your folder something different so once you've done that you can exit the editor and type sudo reboot to reboot the Pi. Okay, so once your Raspberry Pi is rebooted, then you're going to want to test. And the way to do that is to go onto programming, Python 2, and type import sys, and then sys.path. This will tell you exactly where Python is looking for modules, and if you're path is in there then that's a good start but obviously you want to know whether your function is working so the way to do that is import my module and if it doesn't give an error then that shows it's found the function and now you want to run the function so you're going to type your module name and then your function name after it Make sure you put brackets, and then it should execute your function. 
But something that's useful to know is if you want to reference one function a lot in your code, then if you type from and then the module name and then import and then the function name, don't include the brackets otherwise it won't work, then you can, after that, you can just reference the function by just typing its name like this. It will also work with other modules. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, give us a like. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment.